For a couple of different campus parties, I tried to show people how they could use free software tools to make audio and video. Good. Because, you know, as you know, a lot of these tools cost a lot of money. Yes. And there's a lot of tools out there that are free software tools that are absolutely no charge. And plus, you can change them to meet your needs. So, I think, you know, I think there's this, this great movement coming together of the arts and computer science and mathematics. And, it, I mean, you see, the person walked away. As soon as I said mathematics, he walked away. But, you know, the good news is that there's this convergence of all these things. The bad news is that people really have to know mathematics to be able to really use it well. Yeah. So. Okay. What do you think are good tools to, to use? Well, it depends Audacity on... Audacity is, is free as a free one. Audacity is very good for audio, very yes. Good. Uh, I, I'm using OpenShot right now for doing simple editing. It's a very easy to use editor. But yet it's very powerful. And I'm so I'm using OpenShot right now for that. You know, there's a variety of tools. I mean, if you want to do uh, simulation and uh, emulation of music instruments, there's a very good uh, MIDI emulator that you can use. And they're only getting better. In fact, there's there are entire distributions that have to do only with multimedia. Mm -hmm. I think I'll be very interested in seeing your uh, your, your video afterwards.